welcome to The Gobby Gaffer and part 10 of this year's Grassroots to Goal Boots, starting with AFC Rochdale. And I have been scratching my head a little bit. Over the last uh, few weeks, we have been conceding a lot of goals and I'm beginning to wonder if it's actually FM24. We can't keep a clean sheet. I've tried all kinds of things. I've tried different personnel, different formations, different ways of playing. I've tried all kinds of things. We just cannot uh, stop conceding goals. So I think the moral of the story is, well, outscore the opposition. Let's have a look what's been going on, shall we? So uh, as you can see there, uh, we've uh, never kept, we're not kept a clean sheet all season. And I think the clue leading into the season was in all of the friendlies, uh, we were scoring like five and six goals in the friendlies, but we always had to concede that one goal. Every friendly against very, very inferior opposition, we were conceding that one goal. I mean, I've got two very, very good goalkeepers now who are rotating. I think I've got very good uh, central defenders. I've got a very, very good DM. I think, I mean, you know, if we get into the, the you know, in the league games, OK, we watched the MK Dons at game, got a nice 1-1 one, one out of that away from home. And they, uh, they're predicted to be uh, to finish third in the league this season. Uh, then we played the uh, Caribou Cup first round against QPR away from home. Predictably, it was a 4-2 loss in that one. But uh, we did OK and I was quietly pleased in that game. Then we played Carlisle in the league at home and um, we were losing a couple of times in that game. But eventually we managed to turn it round and we got a winner very, very late on in the game. 3-2. I think I put three strikers up top and... Uh, Eventually, we managed to scrape that winner. Uh, then we played Walsall. I have to say, uh, as the gobby gaffer, I never do get well against Walsall. I don't know what it is. They're one of my bogey teams. Uh, yes, we got beat 3-2 in that one. Uh, AFC Wimbledon, nice 4-1 win in that one. And, uh, and then Forest Green, another 5-2 win in that one. So we seem to be turning the corner a little bit in that, uh, OK, we are still conceding goals, but we're scoring plenty. So that's a good thing to see. And Tyree Sinclair, my question was, can he perform in this league? The answer is, Yes, he certainly can. He scored two against Wimbledon and two against Forest Green. So Tyree Sinclair is uh, is definitely uh, a Skybet League 2 striker. Um, then we played the e EFL uh, Trophy Northern Section uh, first game against Blackpool, who, by the way, are top of uh, Skybet League 1 at the moment and going great guns. And a very narrow 2-1 loss in that we were winning 1-0 in that game and we'd outplayed Blackpool completely. And then in the last kind of 10 minutes or so, they got two goals and, uh, and beat us. So today we've got another two tests. Every game in this league at the moment will be a test for us. They're both away from home and it's Harrogate and Salford. So I think it's about time I stopped waffling and got some football played. We'll see you in the dugout. Well, welcome along to the 5,000 capacity Enviro Event Stadium. And uh, having been thrown a little bit of a curveball, you know what football managers like. Both my right wingers are out injured uh, just before the game. So Sinclair is going to have to play out there today with uh, Kedra Simmons playing up top. So the team is Thomas in goal, back four of Kenlock, uh, Belongo, Graham and Bernard. We have Diallo and uh, Francois in midfield. Kelly and Sinclair are the two wingers today. Sonny Hilton is the advanced playmaker with uh, Simmons up top. And just a little note about a couple of the youth players that I'd put down in the under-21s. They both want to go out on loan, but I've actually promoted them now to the first team. With the number of games that we've got this season, league and cup games, we're going to need the personnel, so uh, Jack Morehouse is one of them. If you look at his stats, he's only 18 years old. I think this lad will probably be as good, or if not better, than Oscar Kelly. And uh, he's not on the bench today, but again, 18-year-old Harrison uh, Dudz Dudziak. Yep, Harrison Dudziak. Again, excellent uh, stats for, uh, for his age. He's six foot tall, and uh, he's not on the bench today, but he will be getting some game time. And I am trying to get the average age of this team down. They're quite successful at the moment. Oh, my word. I do not like playing against injured players. 
their left back is is playing with an injury, that always means they're either going to be the provider or they're going to score a goal. I do not like playing against injured players. It's a nightmare. But yeah, the average age of this team is coming down quite nicely. Now, I do have to get the balance right, however. We do need some uh, older heads in there as well just to guide them through. But at the moment, Harrogate here just playing the ball around. We get a nice tackle in there in midfield. Harrogate were a little bit sluggish there. And eventually we pick the pace up. And uh, Kelly there, lovely ball forward to Sonny Hilton. He needs to slide that across now. He has done. Sinclair at the back post. We're 1-0 ahead. And that was a very, very nicely worked goal. Right from the, you know, nipping the ball and nipping in for the, and picking the ball up in midfield. And then some quick passing around. Kelly on this wing. Lovely, lovely ball inside there with his left foot. And Hilton just slides that across. Sinclair there, unmarked at the back post. 1-0. A little bit of a scare there from the free kick. But uh, Thomas just about manages to see that over the bar. So the half hour mark uh, comes along. We're having much better, much the better of the game. But up to now, uh, no more highlights. And as I say that, we come back to a highlight. So Bernard there, ball over the top, Sonny Hilton running onto it, slides it across, and uh, Kendra Simmons there, a nice uh, tapping. Uh, I, I mean, I suppose it had to be finished. It was a bit of a tapping for him. A lovely provide there by Sonny Hilton. I think that's his second assist in the game now. But this was a very, very nice free kick taken by Bernard over the top. Sonny Hilton, the defence had switched off and two centre-backs there couldn't handle Simmons and he slides the ball into the back of the net, 2-0. So the assistant is recommending I'm happy with the number of shots on target. Keep it up. I think we'll go with that. Uh, Miles Kenlock's looking a little bit tired. He's having to play out there all of the time at the moment because the young kid Nevitt is out injured. So I did say the other day, generally, when the football manager decides to injure players, it's either both your fullbacks or both your wingers. At the moment, we've got both wingers out and uh, one of my left backs. So Kenlock is having to just play too many games, really. So the injured Gibson there with the throw in, he's yet to make an impact on the game. I'm sure he will do at some stage. So Harrogate now, we do, we, we do have to concede a goal. That's uh, that's a given. So uh, we've not kept a clean sheet all season yet, including the pre-season friendlies. So we will have to concede a goal. And I've tried at this stage of a game, I've tried dropping the lines. I've tried going defensive. I've tried uh, going much, much higher and pressing the opposition you know, in the, in the most vigorous uh, fashion possible. I've tried everything and nothing stops that goal going in. So uh, let's hope, you know, the commentator's curse, and Francois is injured, let's hope the commentator's curse can work in my favour. And that's a nice goal from injured Francois. So what, what was I saying at uh, kick-off? They had an injured player. I was a bit worried about him. We never do well against injured players. And up pops Francois with a nice goal of his own. And I think we will have to take him off. But Francois there is obviously not too badly injured. Was able to take that ball through. And then just right footed slides it past their keeper. 3-0. 58 minutes on the clock. And the young kid Morehouse has come on in midfield. Have changed the positions a little bit. So he's going to be the DLP. Hilton has dropped to a, a, an attacking midfielder. And the Devante Rodney has come on with the right wing. I don't want Sinclair getting injured and he is looking a little bit tired. So it's the uh, from the kickoff, it's Harrogate with the ball. Is this the highlight where they score their goal? March coming through now. And uh, that was a very, very weird. The, the uh, substitutions have not been made yet. And that was a very, very strange. Uh, I don't know what happened there with Harrogate, but two men there near the ball and um, neither of them looked like they wanted it. But we do give the ball away and uh, we do eventually pick the ball back up again. Graham to Diallo, Diallo to Hilton, Hilton, nice ball there to Francois again. Still the substitutions have not been made. Uh, ball out to Kelly, Kelly gives the ball away now. So these generally, these are an indication that a goal is coming when the, when the ball is being given away. 
Um, Harrogate now just playing the ball through there and that there's the goal I knew it was coming and uh, they've kind of made my goalkeeper look like a buffoon Thomas is a very very good goalkeeper and I'm not quite sure what the game is trying to tell me there but uh, anyway uh, we don't want to watch that again that was horrific so yes we do want to make the tactical changes and it's now 3-1 and what's been happening in recent games is, uh, is that even though we're 3-0 in the lead, generally uh, the opposition will come back and score two goals. So it goes to 3-2. Uh, I'm hoping that doesn't happen in this game. It would be very nice if we got that uh, fourth goal. But ball there, uh, thrown in long from Bernard. Uh, Graham has now got the ball. Bernard to uh, Rodney. And the ball's in the back of the net. Cadre Simmons again, that's his second of the game, and we do get the fourth goal. I think we should be reasonably comfortable now, but uh, we've actually turned it on today. Some of the attacking players have been absolutely brilliant. It's just a shame that it's, it's frustrating. You have to take it on the chin sometimes with football manager. It's frustrating that we can't and not allowed to keep that clean sheet, but the customary uh, one goal against. Kenlock now to Morehouse. What's Morehouse going to do with this? We've not seen an awful lot of, it, of him at the moment. Ball there is uh, headed out. Diallo's going to pick that one up nicely. Back to Bolongo in defence. Morehouse now. Nice little ball around the corner. Kadra Simmons. Can he get his hat trick? But Oscar Kelly certainly can pick up the scraps off that one and fires it into a 5-1 lead. And the young kid there, the young winger, just gets a lovely, lovely, uh, well, a little bit of uh, picking up the scraps. And this was a nice little move. Nice little ball there from Morehouse. Very, very confident. And the ball just breaks off to Oscar Kelly in the back of the net. 5-1. 72 minutes. Couple more changes. Uh, Gilligan has come on as uh, the ball winning midfield player. And uh, Baines, the uh, left footed centre back, has come on at left back. Uh, we do need to give Kenlock some rest time. 14 shots, 8 on target, an XG of 3.08, I think that was. So we're playing very, very well. And uh, bearing in mind we're away from home here. That ball is uh, easily picked up there. So their goalkeeper now is just sliding it out to one of the centre backs. And Gibson, who's been injured right from the kickoff, he's still on the pitch. I'm pretty sure if I'd have done that, that that player would have ended up with a, a torn Achilles or something like that. But no, they're getting away with it. It's uh, it's 5-1. Are Harrogate going to get another goal in this game? Ball there. Just uh, They pulled our right back out of position. Ball into the middle. And Thomas actually makes the save this time, which is quite nice. Both goalkeepers called Thomas. That's not confusing, is it? Six minutes of time added on, and we're cruising to a nice 5-1 win. And I think it deserves a little bit more than the nice work, everyone, that was good. That's as good a win as you're likely to see, and I think we will give a little bit of praise. So uh, I'm delighted with your solid defensive work. So I think we're just going to give the players a nice pat on the back. Delighted with your efforts in the final third. And there we see the, uh, well, a very strange looking league table, considering that, uh, you know, we're not meant to do that well this season. We're in fourth place, six games played, 13 points. Uh, there are one or two teams, I think. Oh, actually, no, only MK Dons have uh, actually got a game in hand. So we're doing OK at the moment. And a nice win there and a nice little debut there for Morehouse in midfield, just dictating the play. We didn't see an awful lot of him, but he was involved in one of the goals. So that's nice to see. And uh, we need to get Dudziak on the pitch as well now. Give them both some game time because Oscar Kelly last season played most of the season, started the season as a two star and ended up the season as a three star with five star potential. We need to do that with these three lads because going forward, these are probably going to be the core of a team when, hopefully, we get into the championship. We'll see you in the dugout for the next game. Welcome along to the 5,000 capacity Peninsula Stadium here in Salford. Yes, yeah, Salford, who are predicted to finish second, media prediction, second, get automatic promotion. They're in 21st at the moment. 
Will this be an easy game? When will they start the comeback? Let's hope it's not today. And uh, that injury that Tyree says Francois had, where uh, he ran through the middle of the pitch and scored that goal, and I thought this is going to be a one or two day thing. No, five to six weeks he's out for. We have got some nasty, fairly long term injuries at the moment, which is not great. However, today we have a bit of a change team. So Smith comes in as goalkeeper today. The back four of Baines, Belongo, Shering and Bernard. So a couple of uh, changes in defence there. We have uh, McDermott coming in today, who at the moment I'm not quite sure about. He's a great player. We have him on loan, but his uh, parent club are complaining we're not playing him in, in the position that he should be playing in. He himself is very disgruntled as well. So I'm not sure whether we're going to be playing him an awful lot because I can't have disgruntled players in the team. Unfortunately, Francois is out today. So McDermott is playing that attacking central midfielder role. Rodney and Bennett on the wings. Bennett is back today off his injury. Uh, Hilton is the uh, advanced playmaker. And Sinclair back in his uh, advanced forward role. So Salford are a very, very good team. The media... Oh, what a strike from Tommy McDermott. What an absolute superb strike. And there was me before the game saying he was low on confidence and not particularly happy with me. And then he puts the ball in the back of the net like that. That was a stunning strike. Let's just watch that one again. And he actually interrupted my uh, flowing commentary. But McDermott there, left footed. And the keeper had no chance with that one. Like a bullet in the back of the net with 1-0 ahead. <coughs> Salford though with the corner and like I was saying Salford I'm sure at some stage will come back and there's a penalty being given so we're not going to keep a clean sheet today either and Salford will bounce back I'm sure at some stage this team of theirs is too good to be languishing in the relegation area so I think that they will be mounting a comeback very soon and that is fired over the bar that was the worst penalty I've seen for a long, long time. Salford now uh, applying the pressure. And the ball there, Sonny Hilton there, picks the ball up quite nicely, blocked that and then controls the ball back to the keeper. Smith with a hoof out, upfield. Can Sinclair get his head on that ball? He can, but he goes to a red shirt. So Salford now turning the screw a little bit. There's a header. It's in the back of the net. So uh, there is the uh, there is the customary a uh, one goal in the against column. So it's one one now at Salford. We do need to be very very careful in this game though, because like I say, Salford are a very very good team. Belongo now our centre half taking the corner. He's our uh, new captain this season. So uh, leading from the back. And now Bennett is injured again. Injuries at the moment are really plaguing us. And the ball's in the back of the net. Sonny Hilton there doing some lovely work just outside the penalty area. The ball breaks to him and a lovely strike. But we do seem to be picking up a worrying amount of injuries. Fortunately, we do have these really top-class young kids in there who we can bring in. But that was a lovely strike. Actually, it was just inside the penalty area. But that puts us back in the lead at 2-1. Baines now on that left-hand side playing a little bit of a makeshift full-back role. And the ball is headed over the top by uh, an injured Bennett. I just noted there, noticed there that I think that's the... Is that the young kid from Manchester City playing for Salford? A Kakai on that right-hand side. So I think they do have some very, very good players. So 36 minutes, uh, Bennett has had to go off with that injury. And uh, it looks like it might be potentially quite a bad injury, which would mean we've got five long-term injuries now. So Kelly has come on. Rodney has uh, moved on to the right wing. As far as I'm concerned at the moment, a feature of FM24 is, well, two features. You can't keep a clean sheet and you get lots of injuries including goalkeepers that's why i've got two very good goalkeepers although smith there did not cover himself in glory and it's back to 2-2 now it's a very even game the stats in this game are very very even 
And we're very nearly on the half-time whistle. Kelly there gets a chance to put the ball into the box. But that's headed, uh, well, he got way too much under that one and headed it into about row 16. It's just a one change at half-time. They've taken Sinclair off and they've brought Simmons on. Let's just see if Simmons can do a little bit better in that advanced forward role. So Oscar Kelly here with a wonderful left foot. Can he put this in the top corner? No, he can't. Just over. Unlucky for the young lad. 14 shots, 5 on target. But Salford do have a much better XG than us. Um, this is their chance to see what they can do from a, a set piece. And that has hit the wall. It's gone in. We're 3-2 down now. Yeah, and a very cruel bounce there. Deceived the goalkeeper. Not ideal. And Salford again with another chance to make it four. And at the moment, I'm not getting a chance to make any changes or give any instructions. It's a really fast-paced game, this. It's highlight after highlight. So Belongo now to McDermott. Now McDermott there with a poor ball for Oscar Kelly. Nicely recovers there. Ball over. Just inside for Simmons. Can he finish it? No, he can't. Just over the top. 72 minutes. Couple more changes. I think we are actually going to go attacking in this game. Because uh, otherwise we're not even going to get a point out of it. Uh, positional change. McDermott has moved forward a little bit. The young lad Dudziak has come on as the DLP. And uh, we've also brought Gilligan on as the uh, ball winning midfield player. And I've switched the two wingers, so Rodney and Kelly now are both playing as uh, inside forwards. The last 10-15 minutes of the game, we have gone very attacking now. The changes don't seem to have made an awful lot of difference. Salford there with the ball into the box. And uh, they are, well, they have turned the screw, Salford. And it's worked very, very effectively for them. So it's fairly imperative now from this throw-in that we win the ball back, go up the other end and put the ball in the back of the net. Is that going to happen? Smith there, for once in the game, actually holds on to the ball. The six minutes of time added on. Are we going to go down to Salford? We'll be one of the first teams to go down to Salford this season. And we have lost the game 3-2. So the assistant is recommended. You did yourself proud today and that's all I asked for. I'm going to say we weren't good enough. OK, one or two of the players are a bit disgruntled about that. And uh, no doubt we'll get a team meeting. And yes, uh, typical how these things go, isn't it? Just looking at Salford's schedule here, uh, that's the first win in the league this season. They did have a win against Wolves under-21s in the EFL Trophy, and uh, they did have a win in the Caribou Cup first round, albeit on penalties. But actually in the league, they've been doing absolutely abysmal this season. They've not been scoring many goals. They scored three against us. So a little bit of an iffy episode there, but I think it's going to be a bit of an iffy uh, season, if I'm honest. Mid-table, top half of the table, I think, would do me fine. We're actually in the playoffs at the moment, so I think we're, well, we are doing much better than predicted. But it's never nice to lose a game. Let's have a quick look at the league before we go. And uh, with uh, everybody having played seven games, we're in fifth place with 13 points. And that has lift, that win has lifted Salford out of the relegation area. I did say before the game that uh, they are going to start mounting a comeback very, very soon. I was rather hoping it wouldn't be against us. Unfortunately, it was. So the curse of not being able to keep a clean sheet strikes again. Three goals against today. It's becoming a little bit of a problem, if I'm honest, and a little bit frustrating. OK, going to leave it there. Going to go and play some games off camera now. We'll be back very shortly. Thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed and like, please can you do that now? Because the channel, uh, the, the subscription rates are rising. The viewing rates are rising. We're getting a little bit of traction. YouTube are actually recommending us a few times. Put the flags out. We'll see you next time.